What is up guys? We're going to be doing another tech tip today. Before we do that, I actually had to go and build myself a little bit of a table to work on. So what we're going to be doing today is actually taking it apart and cleaning it up for a friend. It's going to be pretty similar to my last tech tip video. I'm just going to walk you through step by step and show you what I'm doing. So the part we're working on today is actually a manifold from a BMW. So let's go check that out. Alright guys, I want to and grab it. Let's go ahead and get started uh, making that table first and uh, then we'll get to cleaning it. So it should be pretty easy. Go ahead and grab the steam cleaner. Again, one of my favorite products, super degreaser. Some uh, detail brushes and it should clean up pretty nice. So stick around and I hope you like watching it. Thanks for watching another episode of Tech Tips, a part of Clean Machine Auto Detailing Channel, where today I will be showing how to make an old worn out part and bring it back to new. Yes, I could have used better tools, but the point of this series is for the do-it-yourselfers and those of us balling on a budget. So let's get started. This manifold to a BMW had over 200,000 miles on it. The aluminum frame was a gift. A broken pallet will do for a table today. The McCulloch steam cleaner takes about 15 minutes to heat up. Perfect time for super clean and start spraying. Typically, I like to let SuperClean sit and set for a few minutes before I agitate. To link to both, the steam cleaner and SuperClean are in the links below. Call this round one, and it definitely went to the manifold, tougher than I thought. I went through a cycle of super clean, steam, my four brushes, and a rinse, which I repeated three times. This part really did a number on all of my brushes. They had to sit in a bucket overnight to be cleaned. Water was trapped everywhere in here. I'm using compressed air, but you could use a leaf blower or some cheap microfiber towels and the power of the sun to dry your parts up.
All right, guys, about an hour later and we're done. A little bit harder than I thought it would be, uh, especially getting some of the grease and uh, oil deposits out from the, you know, the valleys of it, where it kind of you know, would bolt right on up to the engine. So go ahead and take a look at the finished results. Hope you guys like it. It's a lot of fun.